Vicky Rasam, Java IDE improvements of Eclipse 2023-06, including Maven, Gradle and Drenol improvements, improvements that have been added since the last release in March 2023, three months ago. In the Eclipse 2023-06 Java ID, Java 20 support is now built in. When creating a new Java project, you can select which JRE to use from a list of all Java versions that now goes up to Java 20. Eclipse is shipped with Java 17, the highest version with long-term support. So in order to code in Java 20, make sure that a Java 20 JDK is installed and configured in the Preferences, Java, Install JREs. Regarding language features, only the preview features have changed, which you might want to explore yourself. You have probably already noticed, there is now onboarding information in the empty editor area. Whether and what is shown depends on the chosen perspective. Nice, isn't it? Mylin, the task-focused UI is back. In the task list view, activating the task restores the state exactly as you left it. The editors are reopened and in the Explorer views, filtering will be enabled to show only the things belonging to the context of the active task. To show the filtered child elements, click on the Expand icon right of the element or press the Alt key while clicking. Via the right-click menu or via a shortcut, you can set something as landmark or remove it from the task context again. Filtering can be temporarily disabled in the View toolbar or, if you don't like the filtering at all, can be disabled by default in the Preferences, Mylin, Context. With Mylin you can schedule tasks connect to bug trackers like GitHub issues and in the builds view you can monitor build servers like Jenkins run jobs and get the logs or output There is much more, far too much to show in this video. There are also some helpful smaller improvements in the Java editor. For instance, hovering a field or method while pressing Ctrl now also provides open call hierarchy. And when filling in parameters using a method or field of something, code completion now prefers the methods and fields whose name matches the parameter name. For string concatenation via a string builder or a string buffer, the quick fix control 1 convert string concatenation to text block now works as well. The same can be done automatically on save via save actions or for multiple files via source. Clean up. In the cleanups dialog, in the tab Java feature, Tick the checkboxes Convert String Concatenation to Text Block and include String Buffer or String Builder concatenations. Voila! Trailing spaces become backslash s. That's helpful, isn't it? There is a new formatter setting. By default, in Java doc comments, the formatter places the start and end tags of block elements on separate lines. To change this, Go to the project, properties, Java code style, formatter, click the edit button and in comments, Java docs, below the format HTML tags checkbox, also check do not put block tags on separate lines.
Control Shift F and the block element tags are on separate lines no more. The new preference, Java, launching is there to name a Java application or a JUnit test launch figuration by its qualified name instead of by its simple name. This might be useful when launching identically named classes of different packages. Maven and Gradle support have also both been improved. The Maven POM editor now shows warnings for a group ID or a version that is equal to the parent one and therefore unnecessary. When opening or importing projects, Gradle projects are now also detected and automatically configured. Eclipse Wild Web Developer, which is included in the Eclipse IDE for Enterprise Java and Web Developers and otherwise can be installed as done here, provides support for the latest web technologies. TypeScript 5.0 implements, for example, the ECMAScript Stage 3 Decorators proposal, which is less flexible than Stage 2, but can be better optimized for performance. In JavaScript, with type checking enabled, you can now use at overload in JSDoc to declare the types of a function for each overloaded case separately. And at satisfies can now also be used in line. Language support in the generic text editor has been improved in general. Alt Shift Up expands the selection. Alt Shift Down does the opposite. And Control Shift P jumps to the matching brackets. These shortcuts work in other languages and formats too. For example in CSS, as you can see here. That's cool, isn't it? The installation and update process has become more secure, thanks to three improvements based on the issues identified by a security audit, which was made with the financial support of the Open Source Security Foundation. First, HTTP to HTTPS redirection is now enforced, which means that HTTP-only update sites work no longer. If needed, and only if needed, for example because you are inside a corporate environment, you can allow HTTP as follows. Go to the Preferences, Install slash Update, Trust, to the New Authorities tab, and at the bottom set HTTP to Allow. Second, when you install something from an unknown location, the first time you are prompted to trust this authority. In the prompt dialog, you can explore the details of the HTTPS encryption. and you can verify what is installed before you trust them. Hitting Cancel or closing the dialog deletes all untrusted artifacts that have been downloaded and cached during the install or update process. And third, when you install or update something signed with a PGP key that has been revoked, you will also be prompted. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release June 2023. Thanks for watching and happy coding!